Hey everybody, it's Mike from Order Flows, and welcome to this educational video on trading order flow. And you know what I'll be talking about today is absorption. And you know there was a great example from uh, this past Friday, uh, December uh, was that December 9th, if you remember. You know crude oil had been selling off from around 72. Um, you know it was trading around the 72.50 area most of the morning. Sold off quite nicely down to uh, 70.08. You see the low down here, and then it sprang right back up to 71.60s. Uh, and you know that was about a, a dollar and a half move in a relatively short period of time. You're talking from you know 1.11 up until about uh, you know call it 2.11. So within an hour, it rallied 150 ticks, and it was you know. A, very fast move up. You can see how um, you know these bars are getting elongated, and you know it's almost like as, as if buyers are tripping over themselves to uh, get back in the market, get long in crude oil. And you know, in the order flow, there were signs when we were coming into this low that you know what that this was going to be the low. Now, let me just be clear, right? Order flow is not about predicting where the low is going to come into place, right? We're not going to try and predict that, oh, there's a low here. Rather, what you're doing with order flow is letting the market give you clues that we are forming a bottom potentially, okay? Then it's up to you as a trader to sort of put the pieces together because I'm going to show you the pieces. We're going to compare some of these, uh, you know, these other lows to the low that happened here around, uh, you know, the 110 to 115 period versus you know these earlier lows right why didn't the market you know rally off this low right this is those this is the pin bar right all those you know trading gurus oh you got that pin bar you got to buy it well if you bought this you know we went lower from 7055 you know all the way down to this, you know this low was 7015 you know and we went even lower right this pin bar failed you know so what was so special about this low that this low didn't have or this low didn't have or even this low didn't have or you know even going back a little further here and here right and you, people gonna say well you had a double bottom here um, you know you got these long wicks okay well you basically essentially had a double bottom here you know market did rally I guess from 70 90 up to 71 you know we call it 19 okay about um, you know about a 30 tick rally whereas here is, is 150 ticks okay so you know let's let's go take a look you know here's your other big pin bar right it was oh, you gotta buy these pin bars well if you bought this one you know, if you're lucky, maybe you scalped a few ticks out of it, but most likely you would have been stopped out, right? If you bought this pin bar, most likely you would have been stopped out as well. If you didn't, you know, honestly, you know, this is a one minute uh, crude oil chart. If you're buying this pin bar, you know, almost immediately, you know, after about five or 10 minutes, you can see it's just going sideways. You're not getting the move that you're expecting. You know, it, it's not something where you, you buy it and get longer than, wait and wait and wait and wait, take a lot of heat and then the market rally back up. You know, if you have something like this, which is supposed to be bullish, the move should happen now, right? Here it started to go, but it just turned around and selling came back in and it sold off more. So let's take a look at the order flow here. So this was the low here at 111. Uh, and again, we hit a double bottom here at, at 114 Then the market started to rally up. Okay. Now, there are some things, you know, after we make this low, right? Again, you know, we're not trying to predict the low, right? If you're trying to predict the low here, you know, you're wrong. Here, you're wrong. Here, you're wrong. Here, you're wrong. Here, you're wrong. But you're waiting for the order flow to sort of confirm that, you know what, this is potentially the low. Now, at this low, right, that 111 low, in 111 afternoon, you'll notice, right, couple of things you know this point of control here at 70 10 you got these two bars with the point of control at the same level right it's coming into liquidity 204 contracts traded the first time that you got into that low that liquidity got removed from the market market went back up to 70 26 then the market's coming back down to the low again now you see a fresh bidder coming into the market 154 contracts that's nice to see because we know that there's buying at these levels right at this you know 70 10 level probably these liquidity at 05 and obviously at, at the round number 70 even there's probably also going to be liquidity there now what was interesting as we're going into these lows you see the big strong negative deltas here minus 110 minus 107 as you make that new low um, minus 374 
as you hit the low again, it's minus 156. The difference between this bar and this bar, obviously both negative deltas. This is a red candle. This is a green candle. We got a green candle with a strong negative delta. And more importantly, the max delta is zero. So I, I know that by looking at this candle, looking at the delta, that I'm seeing um, some signs of absorption. Why? Because I have this green candle and I look at the footprint. You just look at it, right? I mean, this is the thing, you know, people think candles reveal all. No, they don't. They don't reveal the most important thing, which is volume, right? You got to look at the volume, where it's trading. Is it trading on the bid or is it trading on the offer? But as this market came back down to test the low, a buyer stepped up. A buyer came in to absorb that selling. He absorbed that selling, got past it a little bit, you know, traded 13, it traded 4, and then it started drifting back up. Where is that continued selling? It's not there at least not in this bar. The next bar comes in, you got a positive delta, small, 28. Next bar, minus 56. Next bar, again, smallish delta of 18. You know, just because you have a delta that's small of like 18 doesn't mean that nobody who's um, buying or selling because the volume in this bar is, is 538. You know, this bar is 356. This bar is 682. It's just telling you it's more or less evenly matched. But the real giveaway that this move had something to it that not only did you have you know buyers coming in lifting price higher because for price to go higher you need aggressive buyers you need people to be lifting the offer but what what happened in here if you're watching the cumulative delta it's actually getting more strong to the negative it went from 17 minus 17,000 you know 520 to over here, you got minus 17,620. Cumulative delta is actually still going down. Price is going up. So you have this divergence between price and cumulative delta. And what that means is you have traders absorbing that selling. Not only do you have that, but you also have obviously the aggressive buying to help move price higher. So when you're at a low, like you are here, and you see absorption coming in, you see traders coming in to absorb that selling, right? That's why you have green candle with negative delta, green candle with negative delta, right? Green candle with, you know, small negative delta. Okay, so, but you can see the delta, this is the cumulative delta here. This is, you know, a, a candlestick representation of cumulative delta. You know, a lot of platforms have it, um, you know, programmed in their platform already. And, this is where it becomes very useful, right? You're going into the low, you hit a low, cumulative delta is still going down, but price is moving up. That's, that should have your attention, right? And then obviously we see delta growing quite nicely. We, you know, we're going down here in the cumulative delta, down, down, down. And then cumulative delta, you start seeing it go back up. You see each individual bar is quite strong. 122, 153, 200, that's a delta surge taking place, you know, more and more aggressive buying. So what you had here, it's a combination of absorption followed by strong aggressive buying, right? As price was moving up. Now compare that low to this low, okay? We hit this low here, okay? Strong negative delta, okay? You're at the low. That's what you expect to see, right? You expect to see strong selling because you're making a new low. Then cumulative delta more or less ticks higher as price moves higher, okay? That's what you're expecting to see. You don't see that necessarily that sign of absorption. You're seeing the aggressive trading, but you'll notice even though cumulative delta goes from you know minus seventeen thousand, you know oh ninety to minus sixteen thousand nine hundred and thirty. So you know it, it, that was a couple hundred delta change. What you're seeing in here right is cumulative delta rising but price is just you know it did go up a little bit i'm not saying mark market's rallying but just more or less going sideways right it does tick up here but then after that it just goes sideways okay. not what you're expecting if you're expecting this market to move higher right let's go back a little further here right you know this one actually looked you know potentially kind of bullish you know we hit this new low here this is at 12:35 you had Negative delta of minus 48. Okay, not that strong, but it's a green candle. Okay, now I, I like candles where you get that big um, 
sort of lower wick, right? This green candle. So you get, there was strong selling earlier in the bar. It was minus 181 on the delta. And it came back up to only finish at minus 48. I'd be looking for this next bar. If this next bar could start putting in some positive delta, then again, the next bar, I might look for that rally to happen. But it doesn't. It doesn't go any higher. It just goes inside of the previous bar, which as you know, when you get a big candle and then the next candle goes inside, chances are the market's going to go sideways. And it does. It actually goes inside, 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 almost inside, inside. Again, you know, it just really contracts. Okay. It's not moving up off this low. Delta's again still negative, more or less, but you know, negative smalls. Um, and then it comes down, and makes that new low. Earlier, this was at uh, 12, this move from you know, 1216 down to 1220. New low, strong negative delta minus 350, goes inside, inside, breaks out, makes a new low, strong negative delta minus 453. Again, a new low, big strong negative delta minus 42. Small green candle. You know, I've got these selling imbalances right down here at the bottom of this bar, which sort of lets me believe that, um, you know, maybe there's some stops that got triggered down below 7040 because the market snapped right back up and sort of closed uh, more or less where it opened. But you're, you're left with that big overhanging negative delta on the green candle. Okay, you know, maybe maybe this move is this move down is over, right? There's some nice volumes, you know, resting liquidity here, here. Then the next bar, that's where you got to pay attention. What's going to happen in the next bar after the low? If it goes inside, chances are we can still go inside in the next bar and the next bar or and just go sideways. And that's what we do. Go inside a little bit lower. We're in, all inside this one bar here over this next, uh, you know, 10 minutes over that, actually, before you break out to that new low here. But you're not seeing anything really bullish happening here in terms of the delta, in terms of the order flow, you're still seeing some selling coming in. But cumulative delta is more or less just, you know, going sideways, right? It's starting to tick up a little bit here, as you can see, but more or less, it's just, it's just going sideways. It's not making new lows in cumulative delta. This is the low here. So it hasn't gone below that. But you know, when you're making new lows, what you expect to see is cumulative delta getting stronger to the negative side, right? If it's just sort of going sideways, you're not getting anything to go off of, right? In terms of cumulative delta. Cumulative delta is not necessarily a tool that you can use um, to take trades. I, I find it more useful um, to confirm tr trades, right? Confirm your idea of what's happening in the market. But just based off these lows, you know, I'm always looking for a reason to buy off a low. I'm not trying to predict that this is going to be the low. What I'm looking for is the market to give me a sign. Please, God, give me a sign that this is going to be the low. I don't have anything off any of these lows here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. It's not until you get down here to this double bottom and I see the selling, right? We're, we're making new lows in the cumulative delta, but price is rallying. That's my sign. And then it just stands out right in here in, in the regular deltas where it just grows and grows and grows over three bars, right? Now, you know, in our new version of Order Flow Illustrator 6, we actually color these bars when they have bullish positive deltas or negative bearish deltas. And even, you know, the delta divided by volume, um, you know, if it's above a certain threshold, it's bullish. If it's below it, it's bearish. So I'm at here at the low here and I'm seeing positive, strong positive deltas here one here 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 right i'm seeing you know the delta volumes as being strong positives one two three even you know because at this low i might not be convinced here yet right but by watching what's happening here with this volume coming in out of nowhere we just took out that low that level of 70 10 rallied back up but now that buyer comes back in yeah i'm bidding 09 again for 150 or sorry 10 for uh 150 Okay, so somebody with some deep pockets is, you know, sticking their neck out, so to speak, and bidding it after you just made that low. That's a very positive sign. That's what's giving this bar this negative delta of 156. If this was just your regular volume, you know, look at these volumes here. Mostly it's, you know, 20 to 40. So if this was, say, 30, you'd have a positive delta in this bar, you know, and it might get lost in the, in the, all the action. But you see that big volume here 154 in an area that you just traded that's support okay 
That's the clue. That's the power of using a, a footprint that's going to help you catch these moves, right? Hopefully you could catch it, notice what's happening um, as well in the cumulative delta. And here you've seen this is a delta surge. Delta is increasing over consecutive bars. So even, I'm not saying that you had gotten long off, you know, to here, off this double bottom, but definitely when you're starting to get into this area, 70.55, for sure, that that low is in the rear view mirror already, right? You you got to be thinking that's the low of the day and get ready because, you know, we could start rallying. And we rally from, you know, this is that area, 55 in here. Literally from, you know, one, you know, call it here, you know, 123, 124, call it 125. Even if you're getting in late, you know, at, at 70. Boom. 70 all the way up to, you know, to 40. What is that? It's a 70 cent move in how long? Right? You're, you're talking here from, you know, 127 up to what? 133? Five, was that? Six minutes. Five minutes, six minutes, seven minutes. Just by understanding what's happening in the cumulative delta, what's happening in the volume that's trading, right? What's happening um, in terms of is there absorption taking place in the market and you can see that just by picking that up right there if you're watching a footprint all right you can see that 154 come in there all right so yeah again i hope you found this video useful and again if, if you like my videos be sure to like and subscribe um, i'm trying to get back on a regular posting schedule so you know ideally i want to get one up every day sometimes i'll try and get two up every once in a while as well in the same day. So again, you know, be sure to like and subscribe and thanks for watching my videos. Bye-bye.